All right, so this uh, at this point we have a a functional um, a functional uh, what do you call it um, carousel slider or whatever. But uh, let's go ahead and just like add a little more pizzazz because right now as it stands, when I preview it, um, it pretty much just it just goes from next one to next one, which is fine. I mean, for the most part, that's you know that's acceptable. Uh, but it would be cool if it did maybe a little bit more. So. What we're going to do is we're just going to make it so that, like, these fade in, we'll say. Um, I'll do different ones for each, but I would just do one. Uh, so we'll have the first one, like, fade in. So what we have to do, and we'll, I'll do one, and then you can, you'll can you probably know by then. But uh, I need to take this. And right now, if you look, uh, what I'm using, if I go to my properties, it just says it's a bitmap. Uh, it's just a picture. I can't animate a picture. It has to be a symbol. So i got to convert this to a symbol. So I'm going to do modify, convert to symbol. And this time I want to choose a movie clip, not a button. And we're going to go ahead and we are going to say, um, we'll call it photo, um, anim01 underscore mc. Okay, so for photo, animation, it's the first one, and mc for movie clip. Okay, so that's why I named it like that. And I'll hit OK. Uh, so now, if you look, this has now been converted to a symbol. So if you see, it says movie clip, blah, blah, blah. So uh, I want to animate this. So in order to animate it, I had to go into its timeline because it only exists on one frame. I'm going to go in here, and I can actually animate uh, inside of this. So I double-clicked on it. You'll see that uh, when I double-click on it, I'm inside of photo anim. Now, uh, so now I'm in its timeline. I can do any kind of animation that I want inside of here. And while I'm, I'm on frame one, that animation will continually play. Okay. Um, that's how it's going to work because all I have is one frame for each of these. But while we were in these frames, if any elements or whatever they are, whatever the functions they have, methods, animation, or whatever, they will play on their own if they're, if they're inside of this frame. So in this case, I made this one. So if I go in here, any animation I put in here will play while we're in there. But actually need this to not be quite like this um, because again this is now a bitmap and I can't animate a bitmap uh, it has in order for me to to add tweening to it um, I mean you can't animate kind of but in order for it to add tweens uh, it needs to be a symbol which I know I just made a symbol that's the anim one but this time we're just gonna do a photo uh, image so I'm gonna select it again do modify convert to symbol and we'll just call this one photo image zero one underscore mc and again it should just be a movie clip and we'll hit okay all right so now uh, if you look it actually has a movie it says a movie clip and stuff and now i can actually animate it so i'm just going to have it take we'll say one second so i'm going to go and i'm going to say it's going to be one second and i'm going to right click come on and we're going to go insert frame or you can hit f5 boom all right so now this animation clip lasts for one second but what I want to do is, uh, this just is a hold. I need to actually convert this to animation. So if I right click over top of the, um, this bar, you can go ahead and create motion tween and you'll see it, it will turn blue. So now any movements that I make, you'll see that it will inter it'll automatically create a, key create a keyframe and it will interpolate between them. Okay. Um, so in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the end at one second and I'm going to select the object and I want this one to fade in or actually you know what um, for this we're going to just do an animation so um, I want it to end up here so I'm going to get to the end and we're just going to right click here and I'm going to go ahead at the last frame just right click on the last frame and I'm going to go ahead and insert keyframe all right because I want it to end here uh, and then at the first frame, I'm just going to have this slide up, we'll say. So I'm going to, um, I'm just going to back up here and I'm just going to hold shift and I'm just going to go out of frame here. And now you'll see that this animation will play. Okay. Now, if I back up and I go here, um, all you're going to see is the first frame of it. So it's not going to look like it does anything, but if I hit control enter and test it or command enter, you're going to see that's going to constantly slide up, right? And I can go to the next one and so on and so forth. But when I get to this one, it will slide up. Yay. Now, um, you might be like, well, that kind of is annoying. Uh, so what we need to do is actually need to write a little bit of code to tell it to stop once it slides up. So um, 
I'm going to double click back on that that anim here, this uh, object, and now I'm back in my animation. And what I need to do is I need to add another layer above this one, and we'll call it actions. Okay. And on the last frame, I'm going to hit F6, or you can right click and do uh, insert keyframe. Okay. So I'm on my last frame, but you have to have the you have to insert the keyframe first. So I'll just select that one. Make sure you select that frame. Go to actions code snippets and we want to stop at this frame double click on that and now what will happen is um, if I go back to timeline here you'll see that now there's that little a there so what will happen is that this animation will play but when it gets to the last frame this piece of code says stop so now if I test this and I bring it over here let me just click through goes there and it stops and you go to the next thing you go and every time you go there, it'll do that little bit of animation. Okay. And that's kind of it. So um, now what I can do is uh, do stuff for the other one. So I'm just going to do another one real quick just so you see because I think this looks a little bit better. I'm going to take this. First thing I do is convert it to a symbol. So I do modify, convert to symbol. Modify, convert to symbol. Movie clip. And we'll call this one uh, photo anim 2 underscore MC. Okay. I'm going to double click to open that up and then I got to convert this also to a symbol. This time it's going to have F8. Uh, and I'm going to call this one photo image uh, 0 to underscore MC. Okay. And we can go ahead and I'm just going to again have it take one second. So I'm going to right click here and insert. Actually, I'll show you. I can right click insert frame or I can just hit F5. And I need to convert this to a motion tween. So I'm just going to right click, create motion tween. All right, so now we're ready for animation. Uh, this one I'm going to have fade in, so I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to go to the end here. I'm going to select the actual object itself, and you'll see that we have, like, filters and all sorts of stuff. Um, there's this um, color effect. I'm going to try this one. I want to go to um, alpha, and I'm just going to go ahead and make it go 100% for the alpha. Okay, so just wiggle waggle, and you'll see it automatically create a keyframe. I'm going to go to the back here, though. And I'm going to click on the object itself. If you don't click on it, if you're just down here, it won't show up. you got to actually click on the object. Make sure I'm on the first frame. Click on the object. And I'm going to take the alpha all the way off. So what will happen is it will actually fade in. Okay. Ooh. Um, which is neato. It's kind of weird because, like, those things. Oh, I guess because it's going over top of them. Um, but there's other ones as well. I mean, uh, you can see there's, like, brightness and tint. I don't know what advanced is. Probably it's all of the above. Um, and there's also these filters in here. So you can do like drop shadows and I don't know, whatever. Uh, I'm not really worried about any of those. Uh, but you could also just have the spin in or whatever you want to do to animate it. So I'm going to go back to scene here. And now, hang on a second. You'll see this one fades in. Oh, I forgot to do the stop. Hang on a second. Sorry about that. Let's go. Yep, double click on it. And I have to do the same thing as before. I have to add another layer. You probably already noticed that I forgot to do that. Call it actions. Go to the end here. I'm going to hit F6. Or you go right click and insert keyframe. Um, go to my actions. Code snippets. Stop at this frame. There we go. And delete all that extra bit. Back this thing up. Now I hit control enter. And okay. So now I see it will fade in. First one always go up. This one always fade in. But so, I mean, I would do them all the same. Like if you're going to have them go, you know, slide in, have them slide in from always from the left or, you know, something like that. Um, and I like to fade in. I think that was kind of nice. So like I would do the next one is a fade in, fade in, fade in for all of them. Uh, just keep it consistent. I think it would look a little bit better. But you would just do what I just did basically for each frame. So you just do it all the way down the line. And then you'll have a like a nice kind of complete you know slideshow that's a little bit custom i mean you could do other elements where you have a little character dancing around or something i don't know uh you can make these buttons definitely look a lot nicer i just didn't want to spend too awful much time making something you know crazy all right um but that's basically how to add a little bit extra to the slideshow